Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we've actually got two, never mind, we've got two to do um, today from the user Green Space Dorito um, in Discord. So we've got two systems um, there. Before we get started guys, this is um, part 140. We finally got to the 140 milestone. I mean that is just crazy how many systems uh, we have done in these now. So yeah, we've done over 140 because yeah, sometimes we do more than one but I mean that is... That's pretty cool. So, yeah, pretty cool milestone there. And a massive thank you to everyone who's um, ever, like, um, done it. I mean, that is... That's awesome. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. So, yeah, two systems from Green Space Dorito here. So, the first system is called the Ekaron um, Lunatry System. I hope I'm saying that right. And this is this is a two-parter system. So, it's another one where we got the same system, but one of them's back in time or forward in time by Lotus. So, let's um, go ahead and search this up. So, I do remember the name of this. Um, so, where are we? The EC. Here we go. So we go. We got this is the part one, and then this is the part two. So this is the old version. So, like old as in back in time, not old as in uh, the old one we did before. So right here we go. So let's see what we have got in here. Right. Okay. So we're going all the way down. So we have an object count of two thousand. I mean that's to be expected with all the um, asteroids there. But yeah, here we go. So here is the star itself. Right. So it's a red dwarf from first looks. Yep. Yeah, very very dim. Alrighty. Right, on to the objects. So first up, we've got just a basic um, asteroid there, so not much going on. Um, I'm picking up a lot of random particles floating around as well. Um, so the next object here. So we have got a very small dwarf planet-sized um, object here. So yeah, not really um, too much going on here. So one degree, so very, very cold um, right here. Next one was at 400. This one is absolutely burning up on this side, as we can see here. So maybe it's had a collision or something by the looks of it there. So there's that one. Right, um, then we've got um, Tonayet over here. This one's at minus 255. Got some city lights on it as well. Weird glitch going on there. Probably transferred from an older version. But um, yeah, there we go. Um, Kantaru. Okay, this one's looking pretty nice. Here we go. So a nice Earth light world. Uh, a light turquoisey green atmosphere. It's got some nice white clouds. I think, yeah, city lights as well. Let's check the stats on this guy. So 97 and 68. So nice stats indeed. Very good stuff. Um, then we have this one. So another more default looking world here. Alrighty. Alright, now we have Antas over here. This one's looking pretty cool. I think I remember this. Do I have a save? Do I have a copy of this? Let's have a look. Just out of curiosity. Do I have one called that? That, that, that does seem... I do remember this. I have seen this before. No, I don't think I've got a copy of it. I've definitely got something quite similar, like a, a, a pink with a yellow um, atmosphere on it, but I mean, I'm not going to bother um, looking. But yeah, there we go. So that is Antas. Alrighty. Then we've got um, Inus 2 here. So a little moon. That's one of the default names, if I remember right. And we've got a uh, moon over here as well. That's quite a cool shot, actually, of both the planets there. So that's looking good. Righty. So now we have got this one. Okay, this one's looking pretty cool. Alrighty, look at this. So Divo Vicus over here. So here we go. It's got lots of water patches on it, as we can see. A lot of ice as well. So it's a little cooler than the other water world. We've got 92 and 58 on the stats as well. So not too bad um, on that one. Right, now we have Anax over here. So another more default-looking world. And then we've got Tauron. This is the first of the gas worlds. Uh, I'm not going to say gas giant because it's only 2,000 in radius. So that's smaller than the moon, roughly. Almost well, roughly the same size. I mean, what's the moon again? Uh, the moon's... I think... Was it moon? Yeah, 1,700. Okay, so it's a little larger then. But it's smaller than Mercury. So that's a very small um, gas ball there. And then it's also got some um, little moons around it as well. All right. See, now we're taking a big jump to the next world over here. So Nast over here. So this one is a lone gas giant. Larger than Neptune or Uranus there. Right, and now an even bigger jump over here. So it's still not at that asteroid belt yet. So you can see it's still got a few more to go. So we've got this gas giant now. So another sort of Neptune size like world there. Then again, another Neptune size. So it looks like these are all just the random gas giants that have been placed in, judging by the sizes there. We've got Nil as well. Then this one. So that one's looking a little more um, different there. Yeah, these look to all be default worlds on first glimpses there. So now we're into the asteroid belt area. This one's got um, a little more custom colour on it there. It's very, very dark. I mean, look, the Red Dwarf light is ending here, so here we go. So we put it on directional or um, studio, I guess. So there's that one. It's got it's surrounded by moons as well. Looking, yep, they all appear to be small little ones. So there we go. That one's got a larger, um, yes, yeah, a few larger ones further out. So there we go. So mostly, um, yeah, it doesn't look like many of these have been customized there. Alrighty. 
uh, Manny or Mappy over here. So there we go. That one's got some lights on it. All right, and then all of these other ones in the asteroid belt. So more. Um, that one's quite reflective. We like those. Um, there we are. Right. Timey wimey portal. Oh, what's this? Right. So that's that. Oh yeah, that's that. Um, the object here. Where is it? Um, yeah, the arrival spacecraft. It's one of those. Righty, cool. So, so zoom out again. Has anyone used the monolith? I think the monolith was in here, wasn't it? Yeah, this from uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey. That's quite cool. Right, uh, there we go. Right, now we're taking a big jump. So this is in a... Yes, yeah, so we'll go here. So what? what is this? Is it a black hole or... Blacked out star? It's a blacked out star, okay. So your colour is... Yeah, so it's a blacked out star, right. It's like a, like a little coloured black dwarf there. So there we go. So that's um, quite small. It's got a mass of one sun. It's got some nice looking planets around it though. Look at this. This is Daram over here. That's a customised Mercury with a black and white surface on it. Yeah, Mercury's a good template actually. We've got Fittiness. Um, Idel again. Um, and we have this one again. That's um, quite similar. Another Frozen World. Okay, so that's mostly Frozen Worlds around that. And that's in like a little binary with the main star. Right, and now we've got Cyric over here. So it looks like it's been ejected or something by the positioning of it. So here it is. As we zoomed in, it looked very different. I mean, that's look how I, look how I like rotate it. You can see the city lights appearing and disappearing due to where I'm rotating it, which is quite cool. But yeah, this is a series. This was based off series originally. If we put it to default, yeah, so it's series. Series looks very different when you put custom on it. It all goes all weird, doesn't it? But yeah, there we go. So that's Cyric. Uh, we've got Karam over here. So this is a gas giant. Alrighty. Alright, so where are we heading next? We've done we've done Oh no, we've got another okay, so we've got a red gas shine over here, red trail one. So there we go. It's a very dark sort of orange colours on there. It's got one moon um, on it as well. See all the asteroids there. Right, and now we're taking a massive jump to this one. See, I think I remember this as well. So this is a, a green black dwarf, basically. I mean yeah, it's practically zero. Uh, Kelvin there, 2.7. So yeah, no temperature really going on at all. But yeah, there is that one. So that's the strange star. So if we just get a full lineup of the highlights, yeah, I do remember this. That's why I'm sort of um, hopping through it quite quickly so we can get onto the new system, which we've not seen before. So here we go. So yeah, we can see m most of these are randomly generated gas shots. I think we can all come to that conclusion there. But yeah, we can see some nice custom ones. I do like the blue one there. I did like this one as well. I think those are my highlights. This one as well. It's critical. I do remember this one. And then this one here as well. That does ring a bell. But yeah, there we go. So we're through the system up. This, this is an update as well. So that's why I'm redoing it. So yeah, we got through that. All right, now we can get onto the new stuff. So this is it here. So the Vulcaron Pega system, aka the old. So this is back in time now. So what have we got here? Right. Okay, the, the system, the portal. Oh, so the portal in that last system, the arrival spacecraft. We, imagine we've gone through there. This is the system now. So as we can see, completely different layouts. We have... Only a few little objects, okay. Um, 1,000 of them, though, so there's definitely an asteroid belt. Okay, so this the system, the portal will take you. If you have imagination or video skills, you can make it look that way. I mean, I could do that, but, um, yeah, I think it will be a lot easier if we just do it on the menu, really. But, um, um, yeah, so um, this is about 14.8 trillion years older, okay, than the Echeron. The system exploded 2 million years after the simulation um, take space, 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 and 47 million years later. So I'm guessing these stars eventually collide, creating a supernova, and then the Echeron system here is created from the supernova remnants. Um, hope you like this double simulation. Um, get to keep, I'll make more of these systems. Okay, cool. Okay, like it. Right. Yeah, so again, this was by the user Green Space Dorito in Discord. So a massive thank you again to them for sending this in. So here is the older two stars. Yeah, that system we just saw was actually created from two um, larger stars, as we can see. So these ended up becoming the Red Dwarf after blowing up. Um, there's one object in orbit here, so Mole. So it's a nice looking um, light. It's smoking up as well. So a nice light blue one. It's like a hot Neptune by the looks of it there. There's the portal as well. Alrighty there, but yeah, look at this. Uh, it's quite a big smoke trail we're losing there. I mean, that's uh, quite a lot of objects. Um, and then we have got one more object in the Hattel zone out here. So another uh, default looking um, gas giant world. So there we go, and then Relpec 96. This is the only um, Earth-like world, but again, this would all be destroyed in the Nova realm. So I think what we should do is we've got to blow them up for this to sort of fit in with the story and the timeline. We've got to blow these guys up. So I guess what we'll do is uh, so let's just see how this simulation runs, just to begin with. So okay, so the st one star is in orbit of the other star. Okay, 
right so there we go okay so that planet seems quite weak with its orbit as well so i guess um yeah since it's created from two systems so it, actually no in theory since this is stable they wouldn't have been from a collision i'm guessing one of the stars would have just turned into a red giant maybe so if we um so we'll do this so let's just let's just simulate this as this one as the red giant so what we're going to do is we'll lock the mass we're going to double the radius so this starts to get a little bigger and it eventually, as you can see, it started to lose temperature. So this is sort of simulating the red giant phase now. So that's going to start upsetting stuff. And in theory, this star will be getting older as well. So if we both make it, if we make them both start becoming red giants, eventually they're going to get so large, they're going to collide. Because, I mean, it's 1.49, so that's, going to, that's still going to orbit fine. But when they get too big, so right now, they're going to collide. So we're going to do that. So there we go. So they've collided. There you go. So that this explosion would create the Echeron Luminary... I'm really sorry for the pronunciation, but this explosion would create that system. So as we can see, all of the other planets, though, they're all gone. They've been disintegrated by the power of the Nova. So, I mean, that was a pretty big supernova. I mean, if we look at the mass... Um, cloud mass, 2.17 suns. So there's quite a lot of mass to go around, a lot of new elements that have been created um, in the um, explosions, all the, like all new atoms and stuff combining to make new elements like gold and stuff because like elements like gold they can't be created like without a supernova like you can't when stars are doing a fusion if i remember right they can only go up to a certain element on the periodic table but i know gold and platinum and stuff like that they are higher than the limit of stars so yeah those elements can only be created from supernovas like this which is um pretty crazy but yeah pretty uh, pretty cool as well but yeah there you go so there's the nova and yeah that would have created this system here. So there we go. So if we just load back in, so yeah, this system resulted from that Nova. That's the story plot for this. So that's pretty cool. I like that. So that's the first one where like a Nova or something. I mean, that's my interpretation of it. So it says, um, this is the way the system looked. And yeah, these are the two old stars that existed before. So I think that's pretty cool. So Ekron formed. Yeah. So that would have formed from the Nova, which is pretty cool. But yeah, there we go. So I like that. That was cool. So yeah, there we go. So that is the, um, I just call it the um, Echoron system and then the um, Rogueron Pega system. So, yeah, um, yeah, massive thank you again to the creator of this system, uh, Green Space Dorito, for sending this system in. And, of course, guys, if you've got your own systems to send in as well, uh, make sure to either join my Discord server, link in the description, where you can just upload them in our upload chat, or you can let me know the name of your system um, on the Steam Workshop in the comments section. And, yeah, I can... Um, I can um, check it out on the workshop and do it for a video. But please note, it could uh, if you comment that way, it may be a less reliable way of getting a system in as it could get lost. It could go in my spam folder. I may not see it. So just please keep that in mind. But yeah, with that all said and done, guys, make sure you have a great day out there. Let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video as well. Subscribe for new helps on the journey to 16,000 subscribers. Massive thank you again for watching today's video, guys. And yeah, with that all said and done, make sure you have a great day again. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.